Hello, my name is Nigel Griffiths. I work at IBM in London, UK. In this series with the IBM Cloud Power VS for a small AX virtual machine for £2, $3 or €3 Euros a day. This is part four. We're looking at AX open source toolbox that you have immediately available in Power VS when you've created your AX virtual machine. Quick reminder, part one was a starter pack. A couple of things that caught me out when I was getting going. So hopefully you can avoid those. Part two was actually live creating a virtual machine and then getting it on the internet for remote access and part three was all about disks this one is all about aix open source toolbox it's also called aix toolbox for linux applications but i think that old name doesn't really apply the applications or the tools are open source they happen to compile on linux and now they happen to compile for aix so where do you actually go IBM.com support pages. Oh, that actually makes sense. Okay. Um, AX Toolbox Linux Applications Downloads Alpha with minus signs in between each of the words. Or you can just go to your regular internet search engine and see what you can find. So I went through the 950 ones and picked out the ones that look interesting for me. Uh, and even that's quite a lot, isn't it? 61 of them, June 2021. So then uh, I said, well, okay, which are the ones I'd probably really recommend? and use myself quite a lot. This is uh, the open source version of Ansible compiled for AIX. Of course, if you can buy that from Red Hat, then you get support. This is the open source version of it. Cloud init is used by a lot of, uh, is used heavily on the cloud. Of uh, course, quite important for uh, exploring, accessing to websites and pulling down files. They, GCC compiler for C, use that a lot, it's using a bit of Golang these days as well. Apache, of course, that's sort of given. Log rotate, that's good for keeping, you know, son, father, grandfather copies of backups and then overwriting. My favorite open source database, PostgreSQL, Python, I use that a lot. These plus signs mean there's lots and lots of other packages, supporting packages for Python, and there are hundreds with, with Python. I used a bit of Samba in the past. Uh, VNC on AIX, I use that all the time. Uh, we've got the old compression things down in here as well. Vim for the uh, better VI editor on AX. W get absolutely mandatory. They're working on the internet to pull down particular download files. Uh, Yum is actually already installed, so you don't need to fiddle about with that. But uh, it is there as well. First time I looked, uh, I was actually using Microsoft Bling. That was an accident. But uh, yeah, it came up the right time. So there it is. The first hit for AX Open Source Toolbox is the AX Toolbox for Linux Applications. In uh, Google, the first one up here is an advert for AX. So this is the main AX page. Not a bad guess, but that's not what we're after. Here are two in here. We have the overview page. Not much on there. And this is the prime page that uh, I mentioned earlier. So on the overview page has got some words telling you what's going on if you haven't worked it out already um, if we look at the uh, download in alphabetical order this is the page that i go to and we have down in here page after page that's just the a's and the b's and the c's and on we go with lots and lots of packages they're all in rpm formats that we can install directly on AIX these days. The important thing up in here is that we're supported by YUM, so it will sort out all the prerequisites for you. And up the top in here, we have the AIX open source forum, which is the place to go if you're going to do some searches, uh, report issues with these packages, or make suggestions. And that's the prime support mechanism. There's some frequently asked questions down in here. Message one is if you want to use some of these open source tools, install AIX 7.2 and the latest release, and then everything will work nicely. If you're on Power VS, you just created your virtual machine, so have the latest copy of AIX 7.2. Now, I'm aware of the fact this movie might survive more than six months and we'll actually have AIX 7.3, but the same applies there a nice fresh version, and then you'll have no problems whatsoever right then back to my virtual machine on power vs anybody else get bored with these sort of uh, banners that you get when you log in it's in the etc message of the day file we can use the banner command to make that slightly more interesting rather than looking like something out of the 1980s the first thing to notice is yum is installed we scroll back we can see quite a lot of information about yum 
yum install is pretty obvious install a package if you can name it we have uh, search in here for all the packages for a particular string and we can list of packages or groups of packages as well. If we install something and we don't want it, uh, yum erase will undo it. So if we do a yum list, because that's the database, and there we go, um, a whole load of them there. So if we run that again and just count the number of lines coming back, uh, nearly 900 of them. Let's however do a um search for python three in here coming out whoa loads and loads of them if we look in here this is the actual core package if we just want to keep it down not install everything so we could do yum install python for the power processor and does help if you spell it right install checked up all the prerequisites so it's going to upgrade some packages in here and do 10 new packages insufficient space in var 335 in e39 so let's uh, use the power of aix change the file system by plus a gigabyte for slash var but i typed in the command wrong that's an s to install i run it again slash opt yep this is classic in here so Stick an extra gigabytes in opt. Tend to find it every time. I should have done this in advance, but at least I've shown you now that this is expected. And have another go. There we go. It's done all the pre checks and it's happy to install these things. Now this next bit may confuse you because it certainly did confuse me. Install Python, so let's do Python minus capital V and it'll tell us what version we're running. Ah, well that's Python 2.7 and we just installed Python 3. So that, that's not particularly good. And where is it getting that from? User bin Python, okay. If we look in what else have we got in there? We've got Python, Python 2, 2.7, and a 64-bit Python. No Python 3 at all. So where, where did it install Python 3? Well, let's go and find out. It shouldn't take long. In fact, there it is. We can cancel it there because I know it's not going to find anything else. So our Python 3 is actually in slash op slash freeware slash bin. Now the idea here is that AIX may have some versions of these commands and if you install the open source ones, if you write it over the top of the AIX ones and perhaps then you've upgraded what AIX requires, then AIX function may be damaged at that point. So a lot of this open source software goes into slash op slash freeware slash bin and so we just have to make a small adjustment to make sure that programs that want the open source things can find them after they found the versions that are actually in AIX. So to do that we use the export path equals dollar path colon and then we'll copy in this one here and now if we type in python 3 minus v we find it and there's our new Python 3.7. So that means if we echo dollar path, remember we are the root user, so we don't want to mess about with anything that's going to stop AIX running properly. So it's going to search all the regular AIX places with this command, and then if it can't find something, then it'll actually look here in the opt freeware bin. Now, if we actually look in that directory, 
We'll find there's all sorts of things in here, all right? Um, some of these have been installed with YUM itself. Some of them have now been installed with Python, and I'm not sure about the rest. For example, there's a copy of Bash sitting in here, which can be useful, so we don't need to install that. All sorts of other things in here. Uh, but anyway, there they are. I wouldn't recommend copying things from this opt freeware bin into user bin in case you have a clash. Now you might do that with regular AX users by putting things into user slash L bin. Now one thing I forgot to do before installing Python was that the yum repository may be more up to date than what we actually have on the disk because the image that we created it from was created a few months ago. So I should have done a yum update command to go and pick up all the updated open source tools. So we use undate here and I'll quickly scroll through the output that we had from that command. Uh, here it's doing the check. These are the tools it's going to update. I'll do yes there. And going through, it's done all those updates for us. So we now have a nice fresh update copy of AIX. I just want to check that I've got the latest up-to-date versions of some of those very common tools that uh, I like. So okay, that's done. Let's do a yum. Let's do the W get. Yep, I'll get far without that. Downloading things onto AIX, and that was very quick. Now, there are some other places you can get some excellent AIX 7.2 tools from. This one is from the people at PowerDevOps.com. Highly recommend a nice team there that have helped me out quite a bit. For my replacement for Nmon, which is NJMon, we want to save the data in a, a time series database like InfluxDB that I've been using quite extensively. And then you want to graph that data and I use Grafana. In Power DevOps, they have a whole bunch of other tools, just mentioned some of them in here, like Prometheus is getting quite popular these days. And the Ansible AWX, that's what Red Hat uh, has, and they call Ansible Tower. This is the graphical user interface that you can have with Tower. This is the open source version of that, so there's no support but it does run under AIX, and it's Terraform, and there's another tool. Well, that's it for part four, AX Open Source Toolbox, and some other places to go. In part five, we'll be looking at learning AIX skills. If you enjoyed the video, or you learned something, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.